Hello everyone, back with me again Dennis Wang and today let's talk about resin exposure and bad print lines or bad layer lines. But first, just so we are in the same understanding, this is a voxel line, okay? The circular shape. And this is wobble lines. You could see the regular shifting. And this is a bad print lines. So our focus today will be how to get rid of these bad print lines with correct exposure. Let me give some explanation. There are several things that could cause bad print lines. One, your lead screw and rail is not well lubricated. That is usually fixed with super loop. You guys could check all my previous printer review during stability torture test. And although in some cases, you might need to upgrade or change the guide block and rail. And number two is bad quality FEP. That is also easy fix, especially if you are using NFAP and PFA, it really helps a lot. And number three is you have dirt or floaters in your resin. Easy fix too. Simply filter your resin. I have example here. I have a floaters that stuck in my print, causing a print lines. And number four is weak support or not enough support. There will be lots of video in the future that I plan to make showing example object and how I support it for your reference. But even with a super big support, you could still have bad print lines if your exposure is not correct. So in my opinion, the most important thing to get rid of bad print lines for 3D printing resin is correct exposure. Let me show you several print results with incorrect exposure for your reverence. If you ever experience something like this where only the supports are printed but not the object or the object partially hanging and you are very sure that your support tip size is good enough, then this could be the case of underexposed. And this is also another case of underexposed. You could see the print lines here. And around the sword, compared to the one with correct exposure. And you could see over here, we have print lines. This is printed at a lower exposure compared to this one with a good exposure. No print lines. And this is to prove that high texture cannot hide bad print lines. It only can hide voxel lines. And this last example is delamination because of underexposed. When it first finished print, everything is looking good. And then I leave this validation matrix hanging in the printer for one hour and then delamination happen. Because usually print time may take several hours and shrinking happen during printing, which could cause delamination if your print is underexposed. So if you print validation matrix and clean it right away after print, you will not know if it actually underexposed. And compared to the one with good exposure without the lamination. And for your information, I make this validation matrix thicker compared to the original file because I want to check for the lamination. Now to help everyone with calibrating resin exposure and avoid bad print lines due to incorrect exposure, I designed this super simple model to help you calibrate your resin exposure. It doesn't require reading the print result, simply fail or success print. Let me explain how it works. But before that, I would like to say thank you to everyone that helped me test this model. It's been tested among several users 
on several printers, resin brand, climate and temperature. So thank you very much everyone for your help. In short explanation for this exposure tester, use the lowest exposure that could successfully print all this column connect to the top part successfully. For example, I print this one at 1.6 seconds, definitely a fail, and I designed it with a catcher at the side, so if you have a fail print, it will not stick to the FEP, and you could get a clean FEP after print this fail one. The next is at 1.8 seconds, we have a fail over here, compared to the validation matrix, nothing is printed and this is at 2 seconds still fail and let's compare to the validation matrix and this is the print result this head sculpt at 112 scale we have print lines here and here on 1.6 scale, we also have print lines here and here. Now, this is at 2.2 second. Focus, okay. One fail at the corner. This is the validation matrix result. We have the lamination. And this is the 112 scale head sculpt. We have a print lines here. And at the 1 6 scale, we have print lines around, wait, 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 where? Oh, around the mouth here. And also on this big head sculpt. This is the print lines, and this is print at 2.2 seconds. Now, this is the success print at 2.4 seconds. Everything connect very well. And this is the result on validation matrix. And for the head sculpt print, it is clean, no print lines, and at the 1.6 scale, also clean, no print lines, and this is the result for the 1 third scale head sculpt, also clean, and no print lines. Let me show you a more close up look on the water scale head sculpt. The surface is very clean and no print lines. When you are printing this exposure tester, I will suggest that you place it at different spot each time you are printing at different exposure. Several years ago, before the likes of Ameratown or Validation Matrix, user would print the object he wants again and again with different exposure to get the best exposure. And this means waste lots of resin and possibly FEP to get the result that you want. So hopefully this exposure tester model that I made could help you easily calibrate your resin exposure and get rid of bad print lines. You can find a download link for this exposure tester model in video description. And thank you for watching. Thank you Axel Muller-Hein for becoming my patron.